What's going on guys? Chelsea Fan TV back after another away day and I swear down, I don't know what it is with this club, but we never ever make it easy. But if it's going to end up in scenes like we just saw in the last 10 minutes of the game, I wouldn't change it for the world. Like, scenes when Ziyech scored, you lot are going to see on the match day vlog, it was ridiculous. It felt like a throwback to some of the away games that we had pre-lockdown. But you guys will see it when the vlog comes out. I, I, I don't want to be negative. I really don't want to be negative after a result like that, but if, you, if we're going to talk about the performance, and we're going to talk about the performance in this video, it wasn't one of the best from us. It was kind of the same lethargic, lack of cohesive performance that we've seen from Chelsea in attack over the last two or three months. We're going to get into it throughout the video, so as always, like and subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. Check out my personal channel, Carefree Lewis G. And going into the game, like... We've had a lot of rotation. We've played Andreas Christensen at right back, which really surprised me and can't even try and say it was a good performance. I really think he struggled in the first half. You saw a lot of Crystal Palace's play came, came from the right-hand side. But you can't really blame him for it. It's his first game in that position. You expected him to be a little bit suspect, and it showed. He struggled. He did struggle, but he handled himself better in the second half. And he also was able to rely on the fact that he had Thiago Silva next to him. And Thiago Silva has been the calming force in our defence throughout the season. Player of the season by an absolute mile. And he showed it yet again today. One of our standout performers in what was not a great performance overall from the team. In midfield, we lacked a lot of penetration. Going forwards... It's next to nothing, really. Like I have to give Hakim Ziyech's props because I've taken a lot of credit away from him over the last 10 or so months. And for, in 2022, he's probably been our best performing player on form. Brilliant again today, even in spite of not really receiving the ball as quickly as he should have done, as opposed to what he does in past games. But that was, again, our problem. We were struggling with progressing the ball from defence to attack. We were struggling to do anything in the attacking third yet again. And... It's always the same spotlights on the same players, like Lukaku. We need to have a conversation about Lukaku. Barely even got on the ball, and granted, some of it is due to the lack of service he was getting. But a lot of it is also just the lack of movement. He just stands there, literally just stood there and just waited for the ball to come to him. And he made it easy for the defenders again, which is half the reason why we're struggling so much in the attacking third. Pulisic as well is just constantly making the wrong decisions and just got taken off the ball way too easily. Again, he did well to drop deep and receive the ball, but end product again, just not there. Kai Havertz. Shone in phases, I'll give him credit, Shone in phases, but there was also periods where he just held on the ball for way too long and he slowed down the attack and he allowed Crystal Palace to come back and, def and get their defensive line back in shape. And it's little things like this which just constantly seem to hold us back in games like this. I don't want to take too much away from the team because granted, we had to make a lot of rotation. We played Malang Sartre at left back again where he's out of position. We played Andreas Christensen at right back where he's out of position. We were going to struggle in a game of this magnitude, especially with the amount of fixtures that we have this this season and the amount that are coming up as well. We have to, in my opinion, probably get used to these sorts of performances because a lot of these games are going to be slogs, especially if we progress in the FA Cup, because then there's going to be more games that are postponed that we have to deal with in midweek. If we progress in the Champions League, that's going to be less midweek spots for us to play those games in hand that we already have to play in. And all of this is going to come into account throughout the rest of the season. So as much as I hate to say it, Thomas Tuchel's right. Well, I don't hate to say that he's right on that part, but I hate to say that he's right on the fact that we are in the top four race because our performances probably aren't going to be at the standard that we expect it to be from now till the end of the season because we have a stretch squad. We have a massive amount of fixtures that are about to come up. We've spent most of October up to now playing two to three games a week and it's going to continue like that till the end of the season. And the end result is going to be results like that. So we're going to have to deal with moments of brilliance being the difference between the two sides. And we saw that again today. Very unlucky with the offside. I thought it was just going to be another one of those games after we had the first one. But the frustrated Chelsea just turns its head and saves us time after time after time. And yet again, we got a result in this game. Again, it wasn't really the best of performances, but you need to be resilient in games like this and you need to keep pushing on. And that's exactly what we did. And that's exactly what the Stuffer World Champions are all about. I know it's our only game with the crest, so thank God it wasn't just a dead nil-nil, but we did still leave a lot to be desired from our play. But it's typical Chelsea. We'll probably scrape the Lille game and then beat Liverpool in the final. It'll be the most typical thing of us. But yeah, guys, that's the end of our review. Smash the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts down in the description 
description below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my points as well, because there's always a few people that do disagree. Check out Carefree Lewis G as well, and we'll be back for some more content and the matchday vlog coming up soon. Take care, and as always, up the chills. Fucking world champions, get in.